I've been in and around photography now for around 40 years and the reason for that was my father was involved with the newspapers, uh, worked for the Mail and the Mirror and uh, photography was always there and, and I learned originally on, uh, on an old two and a quarter square, I say old, it's fantastic resolution and a great way to learn photography. And I then had access to, um, to dark rooms. Um, we had one at home and learning to be able to look at something and create it from nothing was a real buzz. And, and when I see a scene, I like to capture the scene as I've seen it. Get as much, I think the phrase that tends to be used nowadays is as much in camera as possible because nothing beats actually being out and about on the fell. What you don't want to be doing is spending your time in the light room as it's now called. And to be able to capture that moment for people to look at it and for that picture to tell the tale of that moment in time. Well, that's, that's what photography is about. Today is just a tad overcast, but it should, should clear a little bit later, irrespective, it's nice and clear. Fairly typical of this specific place. Grim or bright blue sky, it's still a magical environment. first came to the Lake District uh, about 31, 32 years ago and uh, it's always meant so much to my wife and I. We'd gone to the other side to Brothers Water and um, two or three days in we were uh, going down Wordsworth Cottage and wife didn't feel too well and uh, we went to the guide and said you know I'm not really sorry but you know don't want to interrupt everything but my wife doesn't feel too good. So she said, oh dear dear, um, go into the garden, but whatever you do, um, please don't be sick on the daffodils. And it, it, it's something that's always resonated with us uh, for the simple reason that we realised then that I was pregnant uh, with our first son, David. And the Lake District since that particular point has become incredibly poignant to us. I, I, I particularly love Wash Water. There is something about this specific location that just hits you here. And when you look at Scorfell, Scorfell Pike, it isn't this huge dominant arete that stands out amongst everything else, but it has a majesty to it. You see the two sides of the pike and Scorfell, and it's almost like a king and queen sat there looking down upon everything. And it sits beautifully alongside Ling Mel, you've got the screes on the other side, the majestic gable there, just sat amongst the, the triumvirate, as I call it. And it fits in beautifully. It's dominant without being over-dominant. You see people who come here, quite rightly their objective is to go up the fell. You know, they want to go up Score Fell, they have to see it. They trundle up Brown Tong, you know, and come up via the other routes. But the beauty of that particular fell is that there is so much to it, so many facets. And I think that gets missed sometimes. You know, if you go and sit atop of Middle Fell and look across, it's just stunning, absolutely stunning. I love to see great spectaculars. And if you see some of the sunrises and the sunsets here, they're just absolutely staggering. I mean, you get this incredible pink and orange light, uh, which is just surreal. And I thought I'd try something out, something I'd never done before, and uh, went completely against the grain, brought the, the iPod with me, settled myself down here about half five one morning. And uh, just as the sun was beginning to rise over the back of uh, Gable, I put on this piece of music that meant so much to me. And as I'm telling you now, I can feel the hairs going up on the back of my neck because the feeling that was engendered as this piece of music played 
and I was looking out towards Gable and this light was coming out behind. Wow. It's just something that you can't, you can't replicate. So I slightly went against the grain that morning and put that on. And then as soon as that had happened, and I mean, I dashed around taking some pictures after that very, very quickly, because you only have this sort of 10 or 15 minute window of sunrise, sunsets. I took out the earbuds and just listened. And I was, I think I was probably the only person on this water. And the feeling of specialty was just unbelievable. Ravens were going overhead then. You could hear the herdwicks off the tops on the... Staggering. Just staggering. Mm -hmm.